everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today's video is being done early because we're going camping, or people would call it glamping, because I go in a camper, not in a tent. If I had to go in a tent, there's no way I'd be going this weekend because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. And it's pretty chilly, I think, still out there. Even though the temperature is close to 70, it's not 70. It's like 66 degrees. But the humidity is very low. I asked Alexa what the humidity was, and she had told me it was like 50-something, which is low for us. If it was higher humidity, it would feel warmer out here. I put things in the camper and I will show you that in this little video that I'm going to add to this one. I will schedule this to go out around the same time that my other video would have come out but because I wanted to do it at home. Oh, I'm so, so mixed up in what I'm saying. I wanted to do this video here because it's a lot easier than trying to do it on the iPad even though I did save the program in the iPad, how to refresh our memories on how to do it. Jim would set up a hotspot and I would review the video and he would review the video, then we'd know what to do. I do have the intro and the extra, the intro and the extra, is that what you would call it? The ending that is saved in my iPad so that it always looks the same, no matter how I make the video whether I do it here at home or I do it when we're camping. Well, let's just go to that little video while I think what I want to tell you. Well, getting ready for camping. It's a breezy, but it's, it's like 67, 70 degrees out, but it's cold because of the breeze. But we've been get, I've been getting things in the camper. So when you're getting ready to go camping, there's things you have to do just to get ready. And because Jim is working, I always do the prep work. So I'll show you what I've done so far. I've made the bed. I didn't put the pillowcases on, but I, I made the bed. And I gave us each a pillow. I brought my clothes out because I gave my coats to Goodwill I said to Jim I need a coat so he has these jackets that he never wears I washed them last night they're all down he doesn't like pullover jackets so I'm gonna wear this one or this red one or the only one that he would like probably would be this gray one because this one, this one, it opens up. But I've been wearing this one too. And I put those in the closet and close the closet door. This is stuff that I don't know what to do with it. It's just stuff. I still have the baby stuff from when the babies used to come with camping with us. This is coloring and stuff. They're adorable. And this is a monkey that I made years and years and years ago. I made this monkey for for Michael and he's he's gosh, he's forty years old now. Then He's got the electric on for the refrigerator. He said it works on gas and electric. So I brought out, I brought out the milk that we need. And because my dish to pass has tomato sauce in it, I brought that out and the provolone cheese. I brought out the turkey because that's going into this dish to pass. And two things of hamburger. And in the freezer. I brought pepperoni because we always like pepperoni on it. And Jim, we like our spicy, so I brought some hot peppers to thaw, put them on. And I'm going to put eggplant in it. This is eggplant. 
So that's what the freezer has so far. And I think that's it. Oh, I brought the coffee maker. Whoa, I'm spinning too much. I brought the coffee maker out. I keep that in here because we bring that with us when we when we go on the motorcycle also. Oh, I could take this out. We don't need you anymore. This was in here because when Jake was alive, I had him in this one. I have actually two of these. He would sleep in the little dog carrier. So that's what you do when you're getting ready for camping. I'm going to look latching the door. There's a little thing here. I was just thinking that I need to make more coffee. My coffee pot is empty over there, and I just noticed it. I called Emily last night to remind her that she needs to lock the chickens in and gather my eggs for today, and then she will have to come back tomorrow and lock, uh, open the door for the chickens to come out and then lock them back in. I'm hoping that it's not rainy when she does that because it really isn't any fun to do things in the rain. Then Sunday we will be back home, and I will put the chickens to bed, but she will have to get them out so that they can at least enjoy the, the fresh air and gather whatever they can gather. Mr. Mister will be crowing for snacks, and he'll find that nobody's coming because nobody will be here. We can listen to the clock bong. It's going to... Oh, it's not going to bong. It's on the half hour. So it's just going to do the bing, 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 bing. Then the bing, 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 bing. I love hearing the clock. In the night when I'm in bed, sometimes I wonder. I don't want to open my eyes and look at the clock. And I wonder what time it is. I just listen for the grandfather clock. And sometimes you can tell. But hopefully I'm not waking up when it's at the quarter hour. Because the quarter hour, I would have to wait 45 minutes to, an, to find out the actual hour. So sometimes I have to actually look at the clock, and I really don't like to do that when I'm sleeping, or when I have been sleeping. I'm not sleeping at the time I'm looking because I'm awake. Well, have a great day, and I hope you enjoy this video. It's kind of uh, all over the place, from camping to coffee making to clocks to, oh, good heavens, and Mr. Mr., the, the chickens and whatever. Oh, at the door. I always hear funny noises. I think that I do have ghosts in the house because the door, a lot of times I'll hear the door make a noise or I'll hear a noise out in the porch and I will go look and there's nobody there ever. But there's a lot of noises that happen in here. That's why Emily's afraid to stay here. Well, have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.